George Tribble has had quite the journey here to Billings. He played his high school ball in Las Vegas and then played one year of NAIA ball at Ottawa University in Arizona. Dissatisfied with his situation, he took the JUCO route through Feather River Community College in Northern California. Everything happens for a reason. Like, it may not have been the prettiest picture, not, may not have been how I imagined it at first, but um, I, I was brought here for a reason, and I, I truly believe that. I feel like I don't want to change anything in, none of, in the way I got here or anything because I'm just happy to be here and be able to, to play and help this team win. George Tribble keeps it for the touchdown. If you've seen the popular Netflix series Last Chance U, which features community college football teams essentially offering kids another chance, you understand the grind Juco football encompasses. In fact, Tribble played against Laney College, which is featured on the show. It was lots of dudes, three, four dudes in one two-bedroom apartment. No um, like cafeterias or no meal plans or anything like that. So a lot of the time it was all of us putting our money together, getting uh, food stamps, EBT, and just like meal sharing and meal prepping a lot. So it's like you just really have to embrace it. It's like it brings out a different dog in you. Like some people aren't built for it, and you see that like JUCO, there's dudes in and out, same with coaches. All that has led Tribble to Rocky, where he now has the keys to the offense of the number 14 team in the nation following an injury to Nathan Dick. Tribble has performed well in Dick's absence, allowing the traits that Coach Stutzreen recruited him for to shine. I think we saw the arm strength, the arm talent there, and how big he was and how he stood in the pocket, but was uh, was capable of leaving the pocket and, and you know running and getting some positive yards. Um, and then I think what we've seen more of now is his leadership and who he is as a person. You know, it's kind of hard to see on a recruiting visit or on tape, uh, but he's, he's, been a, he's been a great leader. He's a great teammate. Dick's status is being evaluated on a week-to-week -week basis, but there's no doubt the Bears feel they can win a Frontier Conference title with Tribble at the helm. Without a doubt, yeah, he wouldn't be our guy if we if we weren't, and so um, I think we can win a conference championship with him. I think he's getting more comfortable uh, being out there and kind of getting that rhythm back that he had in JUCO and um, and leading this offense. Everybody here has like been embracing me, like helping me every step of the way. So each week I feel like I'm progressing and like getting a little bit more comfortable in what I'm doing. The Frontier is on a league-wide bye this week, but Rocky is back in action on October 22nd at Carroll College. In Billings, Halleck Boffinger, MTN Sports.